This is the quickfield.com website. You can download the student edition of Quickfield. Under the download, here's student edition. You can also download the user manual, which is very useful. And there's lots of support videos um, and examples that you can look at on this website. Some of the packages that Quickfield will solve are the different problem types supported. Include DC magnetics, AC magnetics, transient magnetics, electrostatics, DC conduction, AC conduction, transient electric, heat transfer, stress analysis. And you can also combine some of these modules. For example, you can, in the multi field coupling, you can combine stress analysis and heat transfer, or you can uh, combine AC magnetics and heat transfer. And there's many other combinations possible. Uh, as well as you can create electric circuits and couple those to your model as well. I've got Quickfield open here. We're going to do an example problem. So I go to File and New Problem. So I'm going to call this uh, R U C H S. Or no. <laughs> Next, electrostatics, um, it's going to be a plane parallel. So we can also choose here, for example, electric, uh, DC conduction, all these different modules. So I'll choose electrostatics, plane parallel. Um, we can also choose axisymmetric, um, which is like a 3D with rotational symmetry, or a 3D problem without rotational symmetry. OK. I don't know what the heck Rux is, but. Uh, Finish this. I'm going to use default units of meters and Cartesian and so forth. The precision doesn't matter if we're in the student edition. Finish this. This is the folder. You can change the folder this goes in. This happens to be a folder I have open. OK. So we have a, uh, it's a CAD program, so we can draw graphical elements. I'm going to make this tablet uh, consisting of a straight line and at 180 degree half arc. So I just line this up and make it 180 degree half arc. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put like a potential of zero on the top and a potential of one on the bottom. So let's go ahead and label some of these boundaries. Label this uh, straight. This is the curve. I'm just double clicking to get the uh, pop up box to make the labels. So, on the curve, I'm going to give it a zero voltage. You can also specify the char surface charge density. There's other boundaries, you, conditions that you can apply as well. On the straight, I'm going to give it a voltage of one. Okay, I have to label the, the area here too. So I'm going to call this air. The air has an electric permittivity of 1. Um, for water, you would choose like 80 for the electric permittivity. You can also make it anisotropic where it varies in different directions. You can also specify a charge density as well in here. So we're ready to make a finite element mesh. If I hit this, uh, but it builds the mesh, and you can see it consists of triangles where it's going to solve the electric potential in these little triangle regions. Okay. So to solve it, we can hit the Solve button. And that shows us the electric potential. It is kind of a jaggedy looking. Remember, these triangles are very big. So if I want a, a better mesh or a finer potential, I can go back to my model and make the spacing at these nodes smaller. Right now the spacing is automatic. I can change it to manual. It's at 0.46. I'm going to try a 0.15. Um, OK, and now I've got a finer mesh. I can look in for the properties. It's 103 nodes. We can actually go to 150 nodes. We can go to 250 nodes. So I'll make it a little better. Let's just try point 0.1.
Okay. Well, let's build the mesh and my properties. I've got 223. That's good enough. Um, let's solve the problem again. It solved in one second. That's why they call it quick here. Okay. So there's I've got a, a finer looking potential here. It doesn't quite look as well in these corner regions uh, because the field is very um, intense in these corner regions as well. It's only solving it over these little triangle type regions. So I'm going to make an arrow, arrow plot of the uh, electric field. I can create more arrows if I want. Let's see, I've got, um, I can create more cells. Okay, and you can adjust the arrows. Uh, you can also make a color map of the potential or other quantities here. So there's a color map of the potential. So your assignment is to create a square with one on the bottom and zero on the three sides. 